Shalom. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. This is going to be a reply to the video you see on the screen. To Hars bugging out. You got this uh, bug out from uh, that fell out of GMS, uh, Charlotte Kent. He said, to Hars bugging out with these three videos of date commandment. All right, which Pastor Hart went into it. It's not a commandment, but it's an exhortation. Go harder, man. You know, because um, you know it's getting it's getting rough in the spirit, man. You know, as uh the Lord amps up the prophecy, Satan's going to amp up on the hell. All right, so without further ado, I just want to um grab this. I felt like this is all uh, beautiful, you know, and all uh, reproving this guy. So this is Psalms chapter 26. I'm going to just start at the top and read it all the way out. It says, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. I have trusted also in Yahweh. Therefore, I shall not slide. And we're not going to slide because we're given diligence to make our call and election sure to the Heavenly Father. Examine me, O Yahweh, and prove me. Try my reins in my heart. All right. And the Most High is doing that. All right, by putting on a, on a, on the apostles and elders, all right, to say harsh, uh, you know, put out. How can I say? I'm gonna let the scripture say. Actually, I'm not gonna say. All right, go to the book of Psalm. I mean, uh, John chapter six, and I'm gonna start at sixty. It says, many therefore of his disciples, when they heard had heard this, said, This is an hard saying. Who can hear it? When Yahweh Shai knew in, in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? Alright, because the Lord is, is known as a, a jinn in the snare, so he, he'll say certain things that will offend you, man. Alright, so you gotta have certain guys. Alright, and this guy was offended for whatever reason. All right, through, through the brother. All right, so he left the Lord. Okay, you got a lot of guys that be offended. All right. And, um, you know, you got a lot of guys that be offended at the Lord. What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? It is the spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. Okay, so to the spirit... Doing three videos a day is beautiful, man. Because it keeps you with the Lord. Okay? And it keeps you going in the truth, man. You know, it keeps your mind um clean. As the brother, um, the brother um Pasha did a video when an unclean spirit enters back into a man. You know, these words keep your mind clean, man. You know, that's how you fight Satan, man. That's how you fight them wicked thoughts. Alright, even though we in the flesh, we fight spiritually. All right, we keep our mind strong, we keep our mind clean with the words of the Heavenly Father. It says, It is a spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, so it's going to keep us alive through the words, man. All right, the words, these words keep us alive, man. You know, the words, the word, when, when we heard this word, it was like a defibrillator, man. You know, brought us back to life. It says, but there are some of you that believe not. For Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning who they were that believe not. And who shall betray him. So this guy. All right. Talking stuff against the, the men of the Lord. And, and most importantly, against the spirit of the Lord. He believes not. Okay. It says, um. For Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning who they were that believed not, and who should betray him. And he said, Therefore said I unto you, that no man can come unto me, except it were given unto him of my father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Then said Yahweh Shai unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. 
and we believe and are sure that thou art the anointed, the son of the living power. Okay. And, and um, you know, that's this is how we're going to be accepted back to the Heavenly Father, man. All right. So it is appointed unto us. It, it is appointed unto us and to desire. All right. And to uh, remain spiritual when following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Back in Psalms. Let's lock here. Psalms 26 and 1. And the reason why I'm uh, reading the Psalms out the blue letter is because I may, uh, you know, blue letter some words. So it says, Judge me, O Lord, for I have walked in mine integrity. I have trusted also in the Lord. Therefore, I shall not slide. All right. And we have walked in the integrity of the Lord, man. That's another thing to pray for. Giving to me faith and integrity continue with you. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my reins and my heart, for thy loving kindness is before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. So the Most High's loving kindness. Let's look up that word. It's his kindness by implication, reproof. Okay. It says mercy, pity, reproach. All right. So that's a reproach into us, man. You know, that's a, it's like it's a reproof. You know, these hard sayings, man. You know, when apostles, you know, get on certain guys, hey, man, that's beautiful. You know, you apply it to yourself. And if it don't apply, let it fly. But if it does, which most likely it will, it's through the spirit. Okay. Well, not even say most likely it will, man, because it's through the spirit. This is for thy loving kindness is before my eyes. And I have walked. In thy truth. Okay. For I have not sat with vain persons. Neither will I go in. With dissemblers. What's that word dissembler? Ilam. Okay. It says. Uh, let's see. This is. Uh. To conceal, to hide, to be secret, to conceal, to hide oneself. So it says, uh, I have not set with vain persons, neither will I go in mm -hmm. with people that conceal themselves. Okay? You know, you got guys who basically was looking for a way out, man. You know, those that, you know, like um, the Lord said in John the 6th chapter, he, they concealed themselves, man. But the Most High knew that he would, they would betray them. They would betray the Lord. So it says, I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. Okay? And that guy is the wicked, man. And through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, he rooted, he, he rooted him out of there. You know? It says, I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked, man. And here it is, man. Now he's on his own platform. So all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because that name Great Millstone, you know, just because you're in Great Millstone, you won't be safe. But that also goes to show you that it's spiritual, man. So it says, I have hated the congregation of evildoers and will not sit with the wicked. I will wash my eyes in innocency. So will I can pass thine altar, O Lord. Hmm. So we can pass on the altar by doing videos daily, man. Okay. And it, like Apostle Tar said, man, it could be five minutes, but it's something to keep you in the spirit. You know, keep your mind on the Lord. That word can pass to mean encircle. It means to encircle. To turn about or around or aside or back or, or towards. Okay. So we, we basically, you know what I'm saying, walking around the Lord, man. You know, we keep in our minds, um, uh, you know, a center around the Lord, you know. It says, uh, I will wash my hands in innocency so I can pass thine altar, O Lord, that I may publish with the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house. 
in the place where thine honor dwelleth. It says, gather not <clears throat> in the place where the Lord's honor dwelleth is in the scriptures, man, and amongst the brotherhood, man. You know, that's where, um, you know, we are required to keep uh, keep our holy, uh, com keep our conversation with, man. You know, so it says, Lord, I have loved the habitation of thy house in the place where thine honor dwelleth. Okay. It's in the scriptures, man. Gather not my soul with sinners, nor my life with bloody men. Okay. And that guy was a sinner. He was a bloody man, man. All right. He goes around slandering the real men of the Lord. In whose hand is mischief, and their right hand is full of bribes. But as for me, I will walk in mine integrity, redeem me, and be merciful unto me. All right? And ultimately, we're looking for mercy from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? But as for me, I will walk in my integrity, redeem me, and be merciful unto me. My foot standeth in an even place, and the congregations will I bless the Lord. Okay, so, all right, you know, as time is ramping up and things are getting harder, we as uh, we are to um, you know, get more into the heavenly Father, man. You know, and the more you read, the more you want to read, man. The more you read, you the more you want to read, man. So to heart, you know, Pastor Hart is not bugging out, man. All right, he's speaking through the Spirit, man. But a natural man would not see that. All right. <clears throat> this is uh one more I want to grab. Philippians 1 and 27. It says, only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Yahweh, That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. So this is let me see, I believe this is Apostle Paul talking to the um church in Philippi. Okay, Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Yahweh to all the saints in Yahweh which are at Philippi. Okay. So this is Apostle uh, Paul talking to the saints or the Israelites, because the saints are Israelites in Philippi. Only let your conversation be at as it becometh the gospel of Yahweh Shai. Okay, which Yahweh Shai was always teaching his uh, disciples, man. He was always finding every opportunity, all right, to teach his, his uh, disciples. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs. So in the spirit, that's what Apostle Tahar is telling us, man. Whether I come and see you, all right, or be absent. Meaning when I come and look at your page, or if, even if I'm not looking at your page, man. All right. It says, I may hear of your affairs. That ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind striving together. All right. Actually, I'm going to look up that word striving, man. But we all to build, man. You know. That word striving, synatlio, sin, sin to strive at the same time with one with another. Labor to strive together, to seek jointly. Okay? So we all labor, man. You know, so it says, uh, I may hear your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. All right. And we all come together. All right. In rehearsal. All right. Um, 
in the spirit, basically we all come together, all right, to learn that that uh, song that we're gonna sing when Yahweh Shah comes back, man. You know, which this is a song. You know, this is that song, man. This is how we're gonna be found faithful by pushing the word uh, faithfully, and then nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is the is to them an evident token of perdition. All right, and nothing. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition or sin, but to you of salvation and that of God. You know? You know? So so to the, uh, them, to you scoffers and naysayers, it is sin, man, because it's too much for you. You can't keep up through the spirit. All right? Because you're a carnal, natural man. But to the spiritual man, all right? We know that it's working to our salvation. All right? And that is, um, could possibly lead us to a being of the elect. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Yahweh Shai, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sakes, having the same conflict which he saw in me, and now here to be in me. Okay? So these words are spiritual, man. And we have to remain spiritual. All right? And, and, and hey, man, pray fast. Do what you got to do, man, to remain spiritual. Because the fight is, is ramping up, man. So, therefore, we got to exert more, more of our energy, man. You know? Hey, so with that, a little willing, your argument was edified. Shalom to the elect.